Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we're gonna speak about the bootstrap view and how we can work with the drop down for, for the buttons. Drop down is a uh, drop down buttons in itself. You define the text and then you drop it down. You have uh, different positions. You can go in for right and left and, and something like that. And then we can use a, a split where it's only the part of, of a single button is, is a drop down. I will show a lot of this in this video. But before we do this, I really hope you want to subscribe my channel by clicking on the thing below in the right corner and like this video if you want and then share with your friends if you if you think this video is it's very awesome and if you need the documentation from all of you in this video it will be found on my github profile all the, uh, the links will be in the description so I think that's the information you need for now before we are ready for coding so let's start to type some code now so let's build the first uh, drop down button drop down and in this we want to call it for ID drop down we don't need the ID it's not listener in this one text and drop down button and we need a class to um, margin um, oh no that's too I don't know why I cleaned that up in my documentation so drop down item and we just call it first uh, item second second and then third third item and then I think it would be nice to have an, a, a divider divider is um, drop down divider we have it here we don't need this one Divider is a, a, a slide like you know from the HR when we built this one and this is just in the menu so this is three uh, standard um, default uh, drop downs and then I want to say the drop down item you can just say active item and then we can say active here and then we can say disabled disabled here and then I will just show you this for now. We have the drop down button here and we can click it down. We have the first, second and the third. And then we have an actual one. That's me that could be the page you're on. And then you have a disabled. And I can see the disabled doesn't work. So let's see what I've done wrong. And now we can see it's disabled. All others have the, the cursor, the point on it, but the disabled doesn't. So it's not clickable. I think it could be nice if we have some uh, custom HTML here where we have a uh, uh, custom content with HTML where we can make some strong and something like that. So let's uh, going back for the editor. It's uh, pretty simple. You can just do the this one. It's a template. And uh, then you can say the V slot should be the bottom content. And inside here we can just say custom content with HTML and let's go back to the browser one more time and then we can see we have the clickable here that's what I mean the the button here uh, is what we're gonna do so let's copy this and come down here and say this one and remove all of those remove this I make a mistake in my own code here great and uh, we don't need this one let's go back to the browser and see what happened and what I mean is we need the custom content with HTML and this is the button so this is the first one and this is the second one and of course we can uh, work with the position so let's go back I will uh, use in the same way here so just say class mark and write to and then we can just duplicate this one and I'll go up to text one and the first we we're gonna do here it's remove the slot because we don't need that anymore and let's just call it for item not first item it doesn't matter anymore and uh, the first we're gonna do is say left 
drop down lift. And the only thing we need to say is let's put the lift. Then we want to say the right and the drop up and the drop right. That's what we're gonna do now. And I'll just say right, right, and say drop up and drop right. I have one with the drop left too. It's just to demonstrate what we're gonna do now. So let's go in for the browser. And you have all of those buttons here. You can see the error here is defined where the, the pops is going up. You can see it's drop left. It's a drop uh, left and drop right is meaning it's going for the right here. You can see it's uh, in the right one and the left one would be on the left here. And the drop up, it's uh, in the upside and the drop right will be on the right side and the drop left will be on the left side. So that's about how we can change the position of the drop-down menu. And then I promise you in the beginning we will speak about the, the split about the drop-down. And of course this is what we're going to do now. So let's copy this one and remove the position. That's fine. And I'll just call it drop-down split. That's what we're going to work with. And the only thing we basically need now is just call split. When you add the split, you take the bottom and the drop down and split it together. Then we can say split uh, ref. That's meaning you need to, to go for the UL and we can just say uh, foobar. And uh, let's say we want to split text. The split text is a drop down split. And uh, that's basically what we need now. We can. We don't need this, but it's if you want to go on something, you can change it with a click. And but what I want to show you now, it's just a split here. You can see it's a it's a different. This one is a clicking up, and if you see the up in UL here, when I click it on it, it will change the UL to the foobar. So that's how we can work with split. And uh, I really think. One of the great thing is we can change the, the size to for the buttons. So I'll just add one split more and call it size. And we can call this for large and this for small. Like uh, we got with the everything else in, in Bootstrap, we will have uh, the, the different sizes here you can see. But but the sizes of the drop down here, it's the same. So no difference here. It's only the button we change. We can uh, working with the buttons with the different uh, styles. So I would just uh, copy this one and uh, copy this one and say what we're gonna do here. And I will have a default one. Just call it the uh, variant and call it succeeds. And uh, drop down succeeds. And if you're going back for, for this one, and you can see it's a green, and that's perfect. But then you're thinking, we are speaking for just a second before about the, the splits. So what I'm gonna do now is creating the same split in the normal way, and then I gonna to, to change the split variant. The split variant, we're going to say outline danger, and the, the variant of this one should be one. Let's just play around. And then going back for the browser one more time. And you can see we have the split variant. This is the split. It's uh, it's outline and uh, it's a danger. If you click on the warning here, it's uh, it's perfect. It's yellow. And then we can have an uh, other way if uh, we want to create... Uh, let's do this one. And like we have uh, uh, input buttons we can just say block here and block whoops not black sorry block and uh, I'll just remove the variant the block is just say you fill everything it's possible and you can see it's fill everything but when we're clicking on the drop down here you can see the the menu class will be 
uh, nothing here so that something is wrong because if we drop down we probably want the the menu item we drop down would be the 100 percent too and a nice thing to do this it's just a menu class is equal to v100 and then got to do the drop down see when you drop down it's 100 and uh, that's it for about the drop downs and now you know everything about how drop downs working with the split without split how you can change the variant and how you can change the split variant thank you so much for watching this video really appreciate to have you here and i really hope you want to subscribe to this channel to go in, in the right corner below and click on the thing below if you have any questions please make the comments below i will appreciate to answer as fast as possible and of course if you like it just hit the like button and share button and put it for a playlist so you always know how to uh, code with the bootstrap view and all the source codes will be found on my github profile you can just uh, go for the description i have everything here thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye